Hi there, students. To preen. Preening, yeah? Um, to, let's see, have you ever seen a bird? Maybe it's sitting on a branch and it's preening its feathers. It's putting them in the, uh, putting them flat and in exactly the right place and it's probably oiling them at the same time. And that is to preen. But people can preen as well, yeah? To smarten yourself up, to spruce yourself up, to make yourself look absolutely perfect. Let's see, I think if you spruce yourself up, you make yourself look better. To preen is to make yourself absolutely perfect. Yeah, getting all of the things in the uh, right place. Yeah, to uh, clean oneself up. A cat could preen its fur, to clean its fur with its tongue. Yeah, or uh, we humans, we dress and groom ourselves with elaborate care to preen. And also, as another meaning as well, to preen, meaning to gr take great pride or satisfaction in yourself. Yeah, to preen because you've done something wonderful. So he was preening on his victory in the competition. Um, I'm sure the winners of the European Cup will be preening about how fantastic their football team is. So this is almost a metaphoric making yourself look good. It's taking pride, yeah, gloating uh, about something that you've managed to do, that you were successful in, yeah, to show off, to posture to smarm, to be smarmy, S-M-A-R-M-Y, smarmy. And this is the metaphoric meaning of to preen. So, to, to preen, birds preen, they put their feathers uh, so that they're all in the right place. But then a person can preen as well. Yeah, I need to get my hair absolutely perfect. Um, and then to preen, to show off, to uh, gloat about how wonderful or fantastic you are. Okay, so, um, I don't know, John always set, spends ages preening before he goes out. Yeah? Um... Or maybe he's always preening himself about uh, his uh, latest successes. Yeah, um, the government is preening itself on its success in the election. Yeah, the company is preening itself uh, for uh, re re reducing wastage by such a degree. Okay, so make yourself more attractive and then to preen, to posture or show off about how wonderful you think you are. It's like congratulating yourself on an achievement. So, to preen, a regular verb. He preened for several hours. He has, pre he has preened all day. Um, and then, what about formality? I think I'd give it maybe a 5.5 .5 in formality. Um, something like that. Um, I think you could use it in an informal situation. You, or you could use it in a very formal writing as well. Um, and then as to origin, well, there's an old English word, preon, um, or, and that comes probably from pr Proto-Germanic, preonaz, yeah, uh, which is some sort of pin or a needle or a spear, okay, um, okay, so to, to preen, yeah, uh, Ah, sorry, I've got that the wrong way round. Um, preen is actually a variation of prune. There's another meaning of preen, meaning a pin, 
and I gave you the ent etymology, not the entomology, the etymology of that one, to pin or to fasten. But to preen, the one I've been talking about, to prune, to cut the bits off and make something look nice. Okay, so, to preen, yeah, to make yourself look nice or to uh, show off and posture. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Preen.